Okay, we are going to pray this prayer. So Let me see how your seal looks like when you are praying. Lord, people have been mocking me all over my family everywhere. Let me tell you this. Say to them, before my, say to heavens, to God, our dad, before my next birthday, before my Amen. Let my expectations be met. That's a prayer. We are going to call the blood of Jesus. Call the blood of Jesus. Ten times. The name. For once. The, the blood. Blood of Jesus, blood of ten times. When you come to the name once, very long and loud. Did you hear me? Yes. One, two, three, pray. Pray, 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 pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That prayer, the Lord said, do it one more time. It will go so pin the lump tanda. You will see that your life was not originally created by God to suffer. What you are going through in your life, the enemies cause it. But we are saying no to your enemies from today. The Bible, the word of God, speaks more about enemies than friends. War, 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 war. We are not different. This is my prayer point. I change the year now. This is the last one. Lord, Whosoever is holding on to my destiny in any form. Take it today. Before sunrise. Take it today and give it to me. Just call the name once. Pray! In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord has heard your prayer. Father, in the name of the risen Christ. I want everybody to raise up your hands. Close your eyes. Ask Ask for Holy Spirit. Ask for His voice. Tell Him. You need him now. Open your lips and begin to pray, everybody. Come. 
His voice will rule. His voice will rule. Then while he dwell below. Open your lips. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. I need you in my life. 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 One more minute. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, we pray. I tell, I tell something. Doctor Laindo. Holy Spirit, which Holy Ghost in you. You cannot miss it. You hear his voice. We have Wait. 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 Listen to me. Listen. Mamela. Mamela. Wait. Ima. Holy Ghost. Listen. Listen. Voice. Abraham. Abraham. Father of faith. His voice. He heard. You, let me tell you how to hear God's voice now. Want to hear him? Yes. This is what God said. Two things I give you. Any voice that will come from God. How many of you think I hear God's voice here? Is it there? Is it there? Because I've given my life. That's what I'm teaching you. I'm going to make another call now. My own pattern of you giving your life to Christ is not the way that you are taught. Your life means I give my dressing. I give the way I eat. Everything. I change my diet. Christ lead me. I want you to hear Christ. That is my own format of you having Christ in your life. Do you hear me? Most of the problems you have, and you're looking for prophets here for some because he has not led you. And what the church lacks, the church has got everything. The cancer of Christendom, the spirit of God is talking to the church, but the church has no here. The Bible says in Revelation, he that ask and hear. Let him hear. How can you hear? His, his, how can you have here? What do you want here for? To hear the force of Holy Spirit. Let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. It's not in commandments. It's what the Spirit is saying. It's what the Spirit is saying. Not ten commandments. I imitate. Not twenty. I eight twenty. For the Spirit. For the Spirit of life in Christ. Has set me free from the Spirit of law, sin, and death. So that's what the Bible says. The law. The Spirit. How do you hear his voice? His voice comes this way. Hear me well. Anytime you want to give yourself inconveniences, his voice goes like he opens their ears to discipline. Anytime you hear God's voice, you are in the cave. On the mountain. A place of no confidence. It's like the first time you hear God. Falls. You are sleeping. He wakes you up. But you are tired. Pray. Jesus, I'm tired. But I will pray. If you do that. Two or three times. 
that force will come in and live in you. The second time you will hear him, leave the bed. Be on the floor. If God if wants to speak to anybody, God never spoke to Elijah. Just anyhow. He locked himself up in the cave. And when he came out of the cave, the Lord said, meet me on the mountain. The voice of him the cried in the wilderness is not in the five-star hotel. God will speak to you. When God was to enter, God's first was to enter to Abraham. Terrible. Hard things. The Lord's first out to know is that he, inconven- he will give you inconveniences that your body will say no to. That is how you know God is talking. If you are the one I'm talking to, one of you to Jesus. You don't want to do anything on your own. And from this meeting is not the way you feel. I'm not doing the will of the people, but the will of the one who sent me. And you know you I'm talking to you, you will feel I'm talking to you. You want to give your life to him. You come forward now. To Jesus Christ of the living God. So Christ. His voice will rule them while he dwells below. His voice will rule them while he dwells below. His voice will rule them while he dwells below. His voice will rule them while he dwells below. This is what, that's what we need. Those, this end time revival is placed in my hand. The Lord showed it me. Turning the hearts of men back to God. Turning the hearts of men back to God. He gave me all the nine gifts. I am nine. not moved. And For we prophesy in part. I cannot can prophesy everything. There are things he will not show me. But he shows me, shows me something. As that book says, the man who loved Christ, he came one point, he said, he showed me living, a river of living water. I love that word. Only him. Not Peter. I open it. His voice will rule them while he dwells below. Raise up your hands, everybody. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I've sinned against you. I've gone my own way. I've done my own thing. Have mercy on me. I come to you this morning. Forgive my sins. I confess them before you. Wash me with your blood. Write my name in the book of life. Thank you, Jesus. Because you have forgiven me. I accept you, Lord Jesus, into my heart. Write my name in the book of life. Lead me through your voice. Save me by your grace. Preserve me by your mercy. Father, in heaven, save me today. Don't let me do my will. Don't let me do my will. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You see, once sins are forgiven, bodies are lifted. At Calvary. A Calvary. What matters to me oh, okay. is that your problems are solved. 
That is his voice. Father, in the name, just stand, don't kneel down, don't kneel down. Because, yeah, Father, in the name of the risen Christ, these are your children. In Jesus' name, I come against your problems. I come against all the demons dealing with you in the name of the risen Christ. You are set free in Jesus' mighty name. You will never be the same again in the name of the risen Christ. And your story has totally changed in Jesus' mighty name.